button to your next one. Here we have more than one uh, unknown. We have three consecutive integers and they have the property that three times the smallest plus four times the largest is 209 more than three times the smaller. What are the numbers? So your setup here goes the following. Let the smaller be n. Then the middle, since they're consecutive, and that means they're one apart, the middle would be n plus 1. The larger is going to be the next number along, and the larger is going to be 2 more than the smaller, so it is n plus 2. So from now on, whenever I see the word smaller, I'm going to write n. Whenever I see the word middle, I'll write n plus 1. Whenever I see the word larger, I'll write n plus 2. Now here's a set sentence that we have to try and translate. 3 times the smaller. So 3 times the small. Plus 4 times the large. 4 times. Now large here is made up of an n plus a 2. And whenever you have two terms involved, you have to use brackets for multiplying is is translated as equal. 209 is 209. More than is plus and 3 times the middle. And since the middle is made up of two terms, n plus 1, I've got to use brackets there as well. Okay. So writing this out as a, a, a bit smaller here. 3n plus 4 times n plus 2 equals 209 plus 3 times n plus 1. So now you have translated. Now we solve. The first step in solving is getting rid of the brackets. So I'm going to multiply through those brackets. That will leave me with 4n plus 8 is 209 plus 3n plus 3. Now we've got to go cross-border shopping. I'm going to bring the 3n this way and the 8 that way. So that will leave me with 3n plus 4n here minus 3n is 209 plus 3 minus 8. Remembering that things change signs when they cross the border. Okay, now 7n take away 3n, the whole left side simplifies to 4n. 212 minus 8, the right side simplifies to 204. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 4, and out pops n is 51. Now the nice thing about having uh, a setup is you can now go straight all the way up here to your setup and these two lines on your setup here is going to tell you uh, where to go. I'm going to go all the way up here. It's going to tell you how to find the next one. So n plus 1 is 51 plus 1 is 52. n plus 2 is 51 plus 2 is 53. So the final answer is the numbers are 51, 52, 53. And we put a nice box around that. And there's our final answer. Now for the check. Okay. To check, we should go back to the original. 3 times small plus 4 times large 
is 209 more than 3 times middle. So if this works out, 3 times the small, 4 times the large, is 209 plus 3 times the middle. So if we have the right answer, then automatically when we uh, work this out, the left hand side will equal the right hand side. So 3 times 51 is 153. 4 times 53 is 212. So the left hand side works out to 365. The right hand side, 3 times 52 is 156. That also works out to 365. Therefore, we have the correct answer, and we can give ourselves a happy face. Okay, now, the only difference that they may give you on a consecutive integer problem is the following. They may say it's consecutive even numbers. Okay. And if it's consecutive even numbers, we're going to zoom in here a bit. Then instead of saying n, n plus 1, and n plus 2, even numbers are 2 apart. So your original setup would look like that. n, n plus 2, n plus 4. If they say consecutive odd integers, well, odd integers are also 2 apart. So therefore, we'd set it up the same way. The smallest is n, the middle is 2 higher than the smallest, and the larger is 4 higher than the smallest. So if they say the words consecutive even, you use this column. Consecutive odd, that column. If they just say consecutive integers, you use this column. And that's the end of this one.